The House Ethics Committee opened a formal investigation into embattled New York Congressman George Santos Thursday. Caitlin Huey Burns has the latest from Washington. The House Ethics Panel is looking at a wide range of potential violations, including whether Congressman Santos engaged in unlawful activity during his 2022 congressional campaign and failed to disclose required information on statements filed with the House of Representatives. New York Democrat Dan Goldman filed one of those complaints. All of his lies about his uh, background, his education, his employment history, his religion, that doesn't violate any laws as it stands right now. So our ethics complaint really focused on the specific laws that we thought he may have violated. The panel is also looking at whether Santos violated federal conflict of interest laws and engaged in potential sexual misconduct towards a volunteer staffer in his congressional office. The move by the Ethics Committee comes as CBS News exclusively learned that Santos was questioned by the U.S. Secret Service in 2017 about an ATM skimming operation and forced to hand over his cell phone. A Santos associate seen here pleaded guilty to stealing ATM numbers in Seattle and sending them to Brazil. Santos was never charged, but in a court hearing, he's heard allegedly lying about his work history. And so what do you do for work? Um, I'm a politician and I work for both. And John, for Santos, he says that he will fully comply with the ethics investigation and will have no further comment at this time. But remember, there's also federal and local investigations going on into his campaign finances. Caitlin, what do we know? Uh, how I can't remember on the ethics. Is this going to take a while or do we have any sense of the timeline when there might be a, a verdict? Yeah, John, we've been talking to some experts about this, and they anticipate that this could take a while. This committee just started getting going, and these kinds of things take a while to develop. Remember, his term is only a two-year term, and the big question looming right now is whether he will run for re-election. Um, so this could take a while, and uh, as these other investigations go on, too, you know, this is all something to watch to see whether this would prompt someone like House Speaker Kevin McCarthy McCarthy to take some kind of action. Speaking of the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, has he uh, said anything one way or another about this investigation? Well, he hasn't weighed in on this specific announcement yet, but he has said multiple times that he wants this uh, ethics committee investigation to play itself out before he considers any type of action against Santos. He has maintained that Santos is a duly elected member of Congress, that voters should decide his fate, but also that he wants the ethics committee investigation to play itself out and see how that goes. Remember, back in January is when uh, members started filing complaints against the congressman. But so far, he has remained defiant, even as law, um, constituents ask for him to resign. He says he's going to remain in Congress, and he'll fully comply with this investigation. And he'll remain in Congress where he can help the speaker with that narrow majority by voting for Absolutely. his program. Caitlin Huey Burns in Washington. Thank you. Thank you.